Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Delmar again, and today I'm really excited because I'm going to continue the videos with augmented reality and face tracking. In this video, I'm going to be doing something very unique, which is to use an application called Procreate to actually draw a face texture that we're then going to be using for an augmented reality app. So I'm going to be walking you through two phases. We're going to start looking at Procreate, some of the tools that are available. Once we get that done, I'm going to be using an AR foundation application that I have to basically add the texture to it. So let's jump into it and start working on it. All right, guys, so what we're looking at right now is Procreate. So I'm going to go ahead and select the zombie version that I already have. You can see that as soon as I do that, it's going to show the texture right on my face which is great because now I can see if it's going to map correctly when we put it in our AR foundation application. So you have the you know, red spots in here, some black, and I just select the different brush types in order for me to do that. So what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and go back into the gallery. And if I go back into the gallery, I'm gonna go ahead and, and click the, or touch the plus symbol on the, on the top right. Once you do that, you're gonna have different canvas sizes. The one that I did before and it worked okay was the 20, 48 by 2048, so we're gonna be selecting that. It's going to take us here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select my settings icon on the top. You're going to be enabling the drawing guide. I'm also going to be enabling the reference guide because this is what's going to allow us to do the face. So I'm gonna select face. As soon as you do that, you're gonna see my face on a, on a mini window, which is called the reference window. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it to the top. I can press on the middle. As soon as I do that, then basically the, the toolbox goes away. So what I'm gonna do is I also need to do what's called symmetry, symmetrical drawing. I think that's what they call it. I'm gonna go into edit drawing guide and symmetry. So I'm just gonna select symmetry. Once you go into symmetry, you're gonna see that it basically gives you an outline of a square and also the faces, the, the different points of your face, such as the eyes, the nose. And I'm gonna press options and right now the symmetry is set, is set to vertical. I can also do horizontal. You wanna make sure that it is on the vertical axis because what I draw on the left eye, I want it to show on the right eye. So I'm actually gonna leave the default settings in here and I'm gonna be pressing the done button here. Once you do that, you're gonna see that the there's actually gonna be a vertical line on the, on the canvas, which is great. Then go ahead and press the layers. And if I enable the background, you're gonna see that also shows my face, which is actually, really helpful. So I'm going to draw with that being on. And then the layer one is going to be the one we're going to be painting. So now let's go ahead and select the brush selector here. And there's going to be multiple brushes that you can do. I mean, they have a big variety of things. I think what I did before, I, I mean, we can do, we can do anything we like. I can go into elements. I'm actually going to do, let's go ahead and do water and see how that looks. And you can also change the spacing, the jitter, if I wanted to change the jitter here and then also the fall off. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit done and then press somewhere in the canvas. As soon as you, you start drawing, you're gonna see that it's going to start showing the, the spots that I did on the other face. So I wanted to make kind of like a zombie face. So I think that that kind of works. The other thing that I can also do is I can, um, I can hide the background. You can now see how that looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable it. Let's go ahead and change the color. I'm gonna do a red. The reason why I'm gonna do a red is because I wanna do a brush, uh, a spray, I can't even talk, a spray paint of the tear. So go ahead, let's go ahead and do that. And if you if you select it, by the way, it'll open up the, this menu. You don't need to do it twice. And then once I do that, it'll just go away. And then I can just do that. If I make a mistake, I can just undo on the bottom left. So I'm actually gonna do something like that. You guys, you guys can see how that looks. Let's go ahead and go back into here and see if we can find other different examples. I'm also going to be changing. Let's go ahead and do perhaps something like that. I don't think it needs to be perfect. And then I can just add a couple spots in here and it doesn't need to be perfect. And why am I drawing these type of faces? It's because I, I like Halloween. So <laughs> I think this works great. And you guys can see now how, how that looks on my face. And the other thing that I can do is I can also draw here. So if I wanted to draw and we can see it in real time. I wanted to draw on my, on my nose, you can see how that looks. We can also change the color of this if we wanted to, you know, be a little bit, a little bit more red. And we can do something like that and then something like that in here. And there you have it. So let's go ahead and take this now and then send it to, I'm gonna send it to my computer so that I can start, you know, putting that in Air Foundation. So the way that you do that, all you need to do is just basically send this image. So let me see if I can show you 
how to do that, you can go into settings in there and then go into share. And then the last time that I did it, I did it as a PNG. It'll export it. And then obviously you can send it. I'm going to send it to via AirDrop to my own computer. I need to turn on Wi-Fi and then select that computer where we're going to be transferring that image to. So let's go ahead and jump into my computer and start working on Unity. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is let's go ahead and clone github.com Dilmer V Unity AR Blend Shapes. Once you get a clone, we're going to have it open in Unity. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the project to open it up. All right, so now that the project is open, let's go ahead and click on the scenes, go into face mesh with eyes, double click on it. And then this scene has already everything set up the way that we need it. I'm going to have in the AR session origin, we have an AR session origin component, an AR face manager with a face mesh. If we go into the face mesh, you're going to see that this is this has an AR eye manager, which is something that I created on the previous video, and it also has a face material. So that's a material that I'm going to have to change. So let's go ahead and go into it. And instead of calling it my face, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate it. And we can just say this is going to be the face blot. It's going to be the one that we're going to be using that we just painted. And then what I have in here, it's going to be the texture that I drew. And I actually made a better texture because the one that I showed you wasn't as cool as cool as I wanted it to be. But now that you have that added and drop into Unity, we're going to have a look at the settings here and let's uncheck generate meet maps. And then also the alpha is transparency. We want that on. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. As soon as you, you do that, you're going to see that the blot now shows correctly. And then I'm going to go back into my face blot and then go ahead and click on the face, uh, the base map. I'm going to double click to select the blot, but it's not going to look quite right. And I know that because this doesn't have transparency. So we need to go ahead and change the surface type to be transparent. Once you do that, then it's going to, it's going to look okay. So another thing that you can do to test it out and let's go ahead and go back here and I'll show you, you can go also into, I mean, we can just grab a sphere and go into it and then just drag and drop that component. And you're going to see that that's going to be, obviously it doesn't look like a face because it's not a real face, but you get the idea of how that's going to work. The other thing that I'm going to do is, you know that this one is a face mesh, uh, the face mesh. I don't want to change that one because that one is for a different video. I want you guys to be able to use that. I'm going to call it face blob mesh. That way we can just change this one. Now we can go into the prefab and then I'm going to associate the new material that I created with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag it and drop it here. We can see that now it has the, fla the face blot. I should still have my AR eye manager and also, you know, the new, the new material that we just created. Now, if we go back here, this is going to be face mesh with eyes. I think what I'm also going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. And this one, I'm just going to call it face blot mesh with eyes. Double click on it. And then if we go into it, what we're going to do is going to be swapping prefabs. So instead of using the face mesh, I'm going to be using the face blood mesh. And if you wanted to, for some reason, you wanted to play with this with multiple faces, let's say you want to have your family in it, you can change this number if you like to one, two, three, and so on. Okay, so that's everything that you need to do there to get it working. Now let's go ahead and go into build settings and I'm going to add this scene. And the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to build it and show you the results. All right, guys, so I finished building to my device. Let me show you the results. As you can see how the texture maps perfectly. I also have eye tracking, the eyes move correctly. I also have the black spots that I drew and everything just looks great. So that's everything that I wanted to show you today, guys. If you guys have any questions about these or other ideas that you want to discuss, let me know in the comments. Thank you.